In this video, you are going to learn how to update your landing page in Family ID. When you log into Family ID, you are taken to the Programs tab. Click over to your Organization tab, which will bring you right to your landing page. To edit your landing page, click Edit. Your landing page is the general page for your organization. So this could be your athletics program, activities program, music program, enrollment page, IT department page for Chromebooks, etc. Anything marked off with a red asterisk is a required field that you must fill out. Your organization line is the title that families will see on Family ID when searching for the school. So if you have multiple pages as a school, you should designate what this is because you can have multiple pages with the same name in Family ID. So make sure you have specified in the title here what this landing page is for. Therefore, I'm not going to name this something general like Arbiter Sports High School unless this is an all-encompassing landing page. Instead, I'm going to name it something like Arbiter Sports High School Athletics, or if this was for enrollment, I would name it Arbiter Sports High School Enrollment. The tagline is where you can add in a one-liner message or motto. So you may want to put your school's motto, or for your athletics program, you may put something like Home of the Lions. Your description area is an all-encompassing description of the organization. So this is a good place to put something like an athletic department philosophy or a description of what people might find when coming to this page, such as welcome to our athletics registration page, welcome to our new student registration page, or welcome to our new student enrollment page. Your tags is where you type in keywords or phrases that you think your families would search for to find your organization. For example, this may be a shortened abbreviation of your high school, your mascot, or a nickname for the school. Your organization line is searchable as well, so you don't have to put the name down here in the tags area. Here, you can plug in the URL to your website. Family ID is now part of Arbiter Sports. If you want to learn more about Arbiter Sports, please contact Family ID. The Arbiter Live link is the link that you can grab from your Arbiter Game account that links families to your active Arbiter Game schedule. You also have the option to plug in affiliations and accreditations here, as well as your year founded. Your contact email is automatically generated from whoever set up the account. So if the person who is listed here is not the person who should be the point of contact for this landing page, you can update that. When families click the send us a message button on your landing page, this is who they will be sending a message to. If you plug in an email to the notification email field, this person will receive all types of notifications, including new or updated registrations for every program. Your organization type again was set up when your organization was created. So if it is not listed appropriately, please make the correct selection from the dropdown. This phone number is set up when the program was created, and it is also not required. Since this will be listed, be sure this is a general phone number for your organization rather than a mobile phone number for a specific person. You can also plug in the links to your organization's social channels here. These will show up as clickable icons on your landing page. This image should again be a generic image for your organization. If this is athletics, you may put your mascot, but in general, you could also put something like your school logo. If you check off display locations on maps, it will display all your locations as pinpoints on a map so that families can click to receive the address right from your landing page. Once you're done, click save and continue. If you already have locations, make sure they are up to date and select the ones you would like. Here, you want any off-campus fields, or if this is something like a district office, you may be putting in all your school's addresses. To edit an address, simply click the Edit button. To add a new address, click Add New Location, input the information, and click Save. Then click Save and Continue. Add all of the contacts you'd like to see here. These selections will be available across all of your programs, so if you add them in now, you won't have to add them in later. Remember that this page is front-facing to families, so be sure to only select the contact or contacts necessary. Again, to edit, click Edit, 
and to add new, click Add New Contact. Then click Save and Continue. For your links, you are going to follow a similar process as you did for contacts and locations. To edit a link, click Edit, and to add a new link, click Add New Link. With your links, you may include any form that needs to be filled out that can't be filled out on Family ID, such as third-party documents that require a signature outside of your organization. For example, a physical form. Family ID does not host links or documents on your behalf. We can only display these through a link here. Click Save and Continue. In this area, you can add photos that will pop up on your landing page in a slideshow format. Please note the guidelines for image size. When you go to add a new photo, you can name your photo. What you name your photo will not display on your landing page. It is only to keep yourself organized. Once you've added your photos, click Save and Continue. Publishing is going to give you a preview of what your landing page looks like. If everything looks the way you want, you can go ahead and click Publish, then Approve and Save. You will now be able to be searched on Family ID. However, publishing your landing page does not mean anyone can register for a program if you don't have any programs opened at the moment. You can also access a preview or update your landing page through the Programs tab here. If you have any questions, please contact your account manager.